Okay, so we have a Solar Edge uh, 5 kVA auto transformer. We're going to do a test on it, and I'll show you how to basically wire this thing up. Uh, it's got four Allen head cap screws, so you need an Allen wrench, obviously. Um, one thing to note on these, I noticed it, when you buy this, you get no instructions, and there's very vague on the internet to find any instructions. That's kind of why I'm doing this. So you should have a weather seal right here. So I wouldn't call this wet weather proof, but uh, you know, some kind of rain enclosure around it, it should be safe. Um, so here's your transformer. So what you have here is, it's very basic and a lot of these auto transformers are very similar. You have line one, line two, and neutral. So you can wire this a couple different ways. If you want to load chair your line one and line two on your inverter or your generator uh, you just wire in your two hots to line one and two and it will pull power from the other leg to this leg and vice versa uh, when one leg is being pulled down what i'm going to use it for is our solar build over here so we're building a, a 30 amp solar power station and if someone wants to run their well pump off of this they're obviously going to need uh, 220 uh, so this is going to be an option uh, if for an RV you wouldn't need that um, which is why I'm building that but if you off-grid situation you want to be able to run your well you're going to need 220 um, so this would be a good application for that so to wire this to make it split phase from either a single phase inverter or a single phase um, or inverter or a generator you're going to wire up your line one and your neutral and on your input to the transformer from your generator or your source. Then you're going to output to get 220. You're going to tap off line one, either off the generator or source or right here. And your uh, 220, you don't even need your neutral, but you're going to tap off line two, you'll have 220. So when I put 110 in here, neutral and hot, I'll have 120. And then right here off these two, I'll have 220, and I'll demonstrate that. I got an extension cord right here. Uh, we're going to use plug this into the house. Um, this is not what you would want to use for this application, but for testing, this is what uh, is going to work for us for testing. So I'll go ahead and pause it for now. Hit stop. All right. So keep in mind uh, when this is plugged in, it is 120 volt. Extremely dangerous you can get electrocuted and this is going to have 220 volt output uh, once again extremely dangerous uh, make sure that you're taking appropriate uh, precautions so I don't have this plugged in while I'm working on it right it's not plugged in uh, so you need a screwdriver to insert these wires so on 120 uh, wires your white your neutral your black is your hot your green is obviously your ground if this was a four wire, let's say you're going to do load share, you'd have uh, on 220, you'd have four wires. You'd have black as a hot typically and red as your other hot. So we're going to put in right here, line one is going to be our first hot wire. And you have to press this down with something to get these to open. Okay, so I'll put our ground over here. Oh, I ran this down. And neutral is going to go over here into where it's labeled for neutral. Always double check your wires before you plug something in, right? You always self check. So hot, line one. Line two is where we're going to get our 220. And neutral and ground. One more thing uh, when you're testing something, it's always a good idea to use a ground fault plug. And if this detects a short, it should trip. So, here we go. No sparks, that's a good thing. No magic smoke. If you listen, you can hear the hum. It's the transformer working. It's energized right now, so you have to be very careful. Uh, it will electrocute you very easily. So on this meter, I'm going to select something over 200 volts. Because we're expecting uh, 220 to 250, right? So 300 volt range should work. 
put this right here. I'm sure the power blocks for this. All right, so first I'm gonna check that I have 120. So I'm gonna go neutral. Need longer probes, but I'll show the meter. 124 volt, that's typical for output on your house. All right, now show over here. So now I, what I should have is this open block. I should also have your other leg of 120. So in here and here should have 120 on the meter ish. 124, all right, back over here. All right, now across these two legs, you should have 220. Go ahead and show the meter. 250s within range. It's on the high end because there's no load on here. If it had a load on it, it'd probably be 240. So there you go. There's 250 volt. So that indeed shows me that I gotta use a screwdriver to get this back out. I don't want to do that while it's hot. Uh, that this is working. And we'll go ahead and end the video. All right. So now I have it unplugged. We're safe to work on. Obviously, any electronics uh, they can hold a charge for a while, so you want to be careful. Um, this is stuck in here, so you got to use a screwdriver to release these. After you unplug it, right? Yeah, after you unplug it. I uh, still wouldn't trust it. There's my other probe right there. Probe cover off the hot. All right, so I'm going to dewire this. So you push these in. Obviously, I'm not going to touch anything metal regardless. Pull this out. Pull this out. Take the ground off. And that's the test rig is off. So now we can wire this up on the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna have a plug where your 30 amp will come in and give you 250. Uh, but basically it's ready for the solar project now that it's been tested.